Welcome to St. Albans Anglican Church in Beamsville for this brief service of reading and reflection for Good Friday. For those of you who wish to participate more fully in the service, a parish email has circulated an order of service. You're invited to join with me in the parts which appear in bold print. Today we focus intensely on the mystery of the cross and the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a moment now of silence as we enter into this time of prayer and spiritual recollection. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to their own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, look graciously, we pray, on this your human family for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hand of sinners, and also to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now, when the centurion who stood there facing him saw what had happened in this way and how he had breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. A few years ago, I was going through a very, very difficult time in life. My mother had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Midway through the diagnosis and the treatment, things didn't seem to be going very well. One night, I was confused, I felt desolate, and I went for a walk a walk in Niagara on the lake. And I was walking past the Catholic Church, and I paused outside and I looked. The lights were illuminating the steeple of the church, and the cross on top was glowing. I paused for a moment, and in the quiet, I called out to God, I was angry and I was confused, I was hurt, I was lonely, I didn't know what the future would hold, but it didn't look good. And so I 
I blasted the Lord. And I said to him, What are you up to anyways? And do you know what? There was no answer. Only silence. In the silence, I got my answer. And I realized that God was there. The cross as it stood aloft on that steeple in the quiet of the night gave no reply other than to say, in the silence, God was there. In the suffering, in the confusion, the cross, the holy cross, is a tree planted in the midst of the world, a tree, a cross, that reminds us constantly that God is there. God is planted there in the midst of human suffering, in the midst of human confusion, in the midst of hopelessness, in the midst of joy and celebration, in the midst of death and rebirth, the cross of Christ, like a tree, is planted there in the midst of it. So we have our answer. We have our answer. My dear friends, it is customary and it is a long-standing tradition of the Church on Good Friday to encourage God's faithful people to spend time reflecting and meditating on the mystery of the cross of Christ, to remember the Holy Cross. Now, normally when we gather, a cross would be brought and it would be planted in the midst of the congregation. And we would sing or we would say the reproaches. But due to COVID-19, we are not able to gather in person. But notwithstanding, I am bringing the cross to you today so that it might be planted in the midst of your own home and in your own hearts. While the traditional hymn, now my tongue the mystery telling, accompanies the act of devotion, please feel free to sing along or to remain silent. The choice is entirely up to you. Now let us enter into a time of recollection and devotion on the mystery of the Holy Cross.
And now, gathering all our prayers, all our praises, all our hopes and expectations, all of our suffering and all of our joy, we gather it together on this most solemn and holy day to pray together in the words that our Savior Christ hath taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. Holy God, your Son, Jesus Christ, carried our sins in his own body on the tree so that we might have life May we and all who remember this day find new life in him now and in the world to come, where he lives with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen.